What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have some news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 15.0 all the way up to 15.4.1. So a brand new kernel vulnerability has been achieved. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode if you forgot it and you've been locked out of your device, bypass MDM and of course even remove the iTunes backup encryption. Check the program out in the link below. So a couple of hours ago security researcher Ned Williamson posted this quote CVE 2022 26757 is my first report using a new technique to find race conditions deterministically. The featured protobuf test case reports 100% of the time on my internal SOC father branch. I will discuss and open source this technique at Black Hat 2022. And they posted a link to this, which appears to be a kernel vulnerability, an XNU vulnerability called flow divert race condition use after free. And the source code is available here. Now this has been tested on iOS as you can see on iOS 15.4, even on newer iPhones like iPhone 12 and so on. So this works perfectly fine there. Can this be used for jailbreak like Torin and Uncover and so on? Well the answer is yes and no. Yes it can be used but not in this state. The way it is right now is just a vulnerability, just a bug. The code provided here triggers the bug in order to make the device panic as you can see over here in the panic log. However this is not a kernel exploit, it's a bug, a vulnerability. Somebody has to create an exploit for it and that could be the Torin team or Uncovered team or somebody else and that exploit would be usable for jailbreak purposes all the way up to 15.4.1 but right now this is just a vulnerability. The important parts needed for an exploit are here because for a security researcher to create an exploit from a vulnerability they need to know where the bug actually is because if they know where the bug is they know what to do next and those details are provided by Google Project Zero over here. By the way, Ned Williamson works for Google at their Google Project Zero division, which basically does security research and so on. So this is a great achievement. It was patched by Apple in iOS 15.5. If you go ahead in here and you check out the security content, you can find Ned Williamson and here's their vulnerability. Impact, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Ned Williamson of Google Project Zero. So this is exactly what you would need for a jailbreak to be able to execute code with kernel privileges. So yes, this is pretty good news, but until somebody turns this into an exploit, we can't really do much with it in terms of jailbreaking for the moment. Anyways, thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.